we haven't developed policy at that level of detail at all. You couldn't just abolish the uh, USC in the morning. I mean, that's like fairy godmother stuff, you know. Uh, it's four billion a year. What you what you would need to do is streamline the tax system, and obviously, uh, and certainly, you would need to re reduce the burden on the on the low low income level. I mean, we have a situation in Ireland where you hit the top rate of tax uh, at once the average wage in Sweden. It takes one. You, you hit it at 1.7 times the average wage. In Britain, it's 4.4. In the US, it's nearly 10 times. So it's crazy. I mean, the rate of tax that's been applied to quite low incomes needs to be adjusted. But the government is doing that, though, isn't it? It is doing it incrementally. It's doing it incrementally. It's but the right approach, isn't it? It, it is. I accept it. Is you no, know, it is reducing tax on on work. Of course, is the right approach and will be central to us as well. But the difference is, we're saying we were we're going to join at the hip real dynamism in the public sector and reform in it to the to the hitting of the minimum lifestyle standard and that's different that says that that that, that first and foremost we will go and get the money by efficiency gains not by raising taxes you only raise taxes at a time of surpluses and booms mm. you reduce taxes at at at, at tough times not okay. not 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 at good times you know